Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can create this kind of swinging animations using rigid body physics in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find the tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button do share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any delay, let's begin today's video. So here you can see I am using Blender 2.92 nice. Now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So now let's start this by creating our chain. So go to this add mesh, sorry mesh and select torus. Now press R X 90 to rotate it 90 degree along X axis. Now press one for front view, press tab to enter edit mode, select this vertex and select all the vertices here. So make sure all the vertices are selected. Let me move back to this wireframe and let me select this. So here you can see we got all the vertices selected. Now select this move tool and move it here like this a bit. Okay. So now press tab to exit edit mode. Select this solid viewport. Right click shade smooth. So here you can see we got a single link. So by using this single link, let's create our chain. So select this single link, duplicate it by pressing shift plus D, press Z and move along Z axis. Now press R Z90 to rotate it. Now again press A on the keyboard to select both the links. Again duplicate shift plus d move along z axis so press z and move it here nice so now let's repeat this last action by holding shift key and press r so we got chains formed here okay so this much of length is enough i think what else let's add it okay so now let's select all these links by pressing a let me move it here here okay like this okay so now let's add rigid body physics property onto the links so select this below link come to this physics property and add rigid body so type let it be active and mass i will change it to 2kg and shape change it to mesh so now we need to copy this rigid body property to rest of the links also so for that select this link which is active so press a to select rest of the links come to this object rigid body copy from active so now each and every link has got that rigid body properties so if i play this we can see the chain is falling down which is good now select this above link type change it to passive so if i play this you can see our chain is not falling down so one important thing here so here you can see the pivot point or the origin point is not at the center so we need to set this origin point at the center so select all the links by pressing a on the keyboard now come to this object set to origin origin to geometry so now the origin points are at the center fine so make sure to do this step okay now let's add suzanne so go to this add mesh select monkey now press s and scale it up here okay now let me bring it here now right click shade smooth now come to this modify properties add modifier add subdivision surface and apply that modifier fine so now select this Suzanne and select this last chain link by holding shift key now press ctrl plus j fine so now again press a on the keyboard to select all the links press r and rotate it here like this press one and let me place it here let me bring it here fine so if i play this animation we can see that we got this swinging animation but it is looking bit off that is because of this origin point so for this we can see the origin point is at the center but for this suzanne it is here so we need to set that origin point to its center so select the suzanne object set origin and origin to geometry okay so now come back to the starting frame and if i play this once again we can see we are getting this simulation much better so now let's create the ground plane come to this add mesh select plane press s and increase the scaling here okay so come to this physics property add rigid body and let it be passive fine so now let's add a cube here and make it as a colliding object for this suzanne so add mesh select the cube press s and increase the scaling so add rigid body physics let it be active in shape i will change this to box okay 
So in this way we can create the swinging animations in Blender using rigid body physics easily. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have learned anything new, please like, share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we'll meet in the next video. Until then signing off. Take care. Bye.